In the TVL Spring Track and Field Championships, the Holliston girls dethroned the 16-time defending champion Hopkinton Hillers. Holliston won their first TVL track title since 1996. On the boys' side, the Norton boys took first place by just two and a half points over Hopkinton. The final tally was 76 to 73.5. In softball, 11 and 3 Westwood met up with 12 and 3 Hopkinton. The Hillers got the offense rolling in the bottom of the first. In the center field, Holly approaching third, Bennett up to second, and everyone's safe. Right up in the pitch. And this is on the ground, third base side. That's going to get through into left field. One run around, a second run coming around. Two to nothing, Hillers. A two RBI single by Kate Wellzell. And this is lined in the center field. That'll drop down. A third run being waved around. Well, Zell is going to come around to score. An RBI single for Lindsay Whittles. Bree Mirabli helped her own cause in the bottom of the third. Good air and fell straight down. As Mirabli crushes this one over to right field, and that is going to roll to the fence. Runner being waved around third. Mirabli is safe at second, and it's four to nothing. Hillers as Whittles comes around. The top of the Hillers batting order got the offense going once again in the fourth. And this is punched into center field. That'll drop down, one run in. Second run being waved around. It was bobbled by the right fielder. Two more Hillers runs come around to score on the single by Molly Bennett. And for deals. This is on the ground, past the reach of the shortstop. A runner being waved around as it is bobbled over in left field. And Heather Holly is safely aboard over at second base. And then once more in the fifth. Set, and this is up the first base side. That'll get into right field. One run in. Second run being waved around. And it's nine to nothing, Hillers. A two RBI single for Katie Holly. Hillers took the nine nothing shutout over Westwood facing one of the best hitting teams in the TVL, did not phase Bree Mirabli a single bit. She struck out 12 in the victory. Molly Bennett went three for four in the win. She also scored a pair and drove in two runs. Katie Holly also went three for four, scored two and drove in two. The Hillers would win their next two games, a nine inning six to one road win against Bellingham and a 9-8 win over Millis to improve to 15-3 on the season. Hillers baseball came into Thursday, May 19th, two wins away from a playoff spot and battled Millis on a rainy afternoon. The Hillers got some momentum in the first inning. Light up in the pitch. And that is hit in the left field. That'll drop in for a base hit and then get by the reach of Jared Pittman, the left fielder. Reynolds is going to keep going to third, being waved around. He's going to try to score and he will score. It's going to be one to nothing Hillers. An RBI double for Drew Simi. And then some more in the fourth inning. Leg lift and the pitch. This is hit in the air, a high fly ball to center field, ranging over and making the catch. With no problem, but the runner will tag from third and score, and the Hillers back on top. And now another run going to try to score on the overthrow. Both runners safe. So LeBlanc comes around, and then Lehman comes around on the errant throw, and it's 3-1 to one Hillers. 3-0 Three heading into the top of the seventh. Things got a little bit and dicey. This is a slicer in a right field. That'll drop down. Runner will be held up at third. So a single, and that ball was thrown out of play. So Brooks will get the free path to home plate, and it's a three to two game. Onsi set to deliver. There's strike three, and the Hopkinton Hillers get the three to two victory over Millis. The Hillers came away with the victory. Tom Onsi grabbed his first save of the year as the Hillers improved to nine and seven with the three to two win over Millis. Jeff Haller pitched a gem, striking out 10. Alex Reynolds, Jake LeBlanc, and Sam Lehman all went one for three and scored a run in the victory. 
Drew Simi and Connor Hebert drove in the runs that allowed the Hillers to get within one game of clinching a playoff spot.